What's up, y'all? Back at it. Red Pill Podcast. Henzo, Rage. We are, uh, we've been on a hiatus, you know, doing work and, and, you know, handling business, but, uh, we're back on it. So yeah. say what's up to the subscribers, you know, 100, uh, what we got, 1K plus subscribers. Shout out to everybody subscribing to the channel, uh, showing support to Rage and Henzo, Red Pill Podcast. We do it for this Long Island, New York, in the house, TikTok, Instagram. Check out, uh, Henzo's in- Instagram. Entheogenetic, right? I said it right. I don't know if I said uh-huh. it. What's your What's your Instagram? Entheogenetic. Yeah, that's right. It's, right. it's, it's right there. Yeah, it's right there. Right. Obviously. So the topic for today, Henzo. Yeah. Uh, bars and bitches you hit at you hit on at the bars. Um, have you had any success in that? And and what, what, what you know, is it possible to pull a bartender bitch? That's that's my question of the uh, day. In my experience, yeah. You know, Kind of difficult because I get hit on so much. That, I mean, you have to stand out in some way, and then even if you do try to stand out, it's you know, it's, you know, kind of looks like you're trying too hard sometimes. So mm-hmm. it's a fine line between you know trying and you know not not mm-hmm. trying. You know, it's yeah. Like, how much do you try to not look desperate? But then again, mm-hmm. if you don't try at all, then you're not going to get anywhere with it anyway. So do they get hit on a lot? Is that what it is? Do I think just... they're used to it. So I just yeah. think that you're like a customer. So it's yeah. kind of like a buyer seller dynamic. Yeah, where yeah. You're just buying their product, the alcohol, oh. and they're just selling you things. So you, you know what's crazy? Uh any bar, if you're in a bar, the water for it was a situation that happened with you and one of our friends. The water the, those water cost more than a dollar at a bar. Why? Yeah, it's total what the fuck? Yes, I would. I think out. it's yeah. I think it's yeah. the 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 place and like uh, what is it? The location. Look, it's a location where the, the water will be like two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars. A shot is like what? Ten dollars? Twenty dollars? What? Water is a dollar. Then the shot's gonna be like fifteen. Fifteen dollars, right, for a shot? So was this like a fancy place or like? Oh, uh, fucking a strip. Uh, let's say a strip club. Dang. Some bullshit. Oh, a regular bar. One beer is like six dollars. Dang. Uh, you know, one fucking bottle. That's crazy. If you really think about it, but you're, I guess it's for the atmosphere. You have to pay, you have to pay the price. Yeah. Like, have you ever been to like a, a sports game at all? You never been to sports, right? Damn, you, we got to go. I have a we, baseball you, game. You have to do the baseball game, right? Have you ever bought a drink at a baseball game? Like a beer? Seven. How expensive was the shit? Seven bucks, probably. Seven dollars. Like, for a basic ass For beer. a basic ass beer. Budweiser. At, at a fucking baseball game. That's fucking crazy, bro. It's yeah. all location. Like, and then, uh, yeah, back, to, you know, I was going to derail it from the subject, but the, the bartender's bitch is hard to, cause they're always nice. So how do you know they, you know, they're really that interested? They're just being nice to you. They don't care. Yeah. Or at like any point, if you meet a bitch out, yeah. like, how do you know if she's, a, you know, just being nice or if she wants you to. Yeah, that's true. Or if you get the yeah. number, how you gonna just, do you just get the number? Or? I don't know, man. Like, I, I, so I, I went to a stop and shop yeah. and I got a girl's number. I thought she was interested because we had a conversation mm-hmm. and I just got her number mm-hmm. or she got my number and then. And we talk for a bit, and then mm-hmm. just she doesn't want to meet up. And I'm like, that's, you know, she flaked at the end, but she could have just said it from the beginning. But I guess she just want to be nice. Yeah. Just to be nice. Mm-hmm. And then you find out later that they're just not interested because they're not, they're not want to hang out. And it's not urgent. Like, if you meet somebody yeah. and you're attracted to them, you usually want to meet up with them soon. Like, mm-hmm. I want to see what this is about. So, I mean, if you get the number, she's not mm-hmm. want to meet up. I mean... Just wasting everybody's time. Is, is it wrong for us as guys thinking when a girl is nice to us that they have interest, or is it us just delusional being like, oh, okay, this girl's being nice because she's got to be nice, or she's nice because maybe she's interested and I should go for it? What, what, what? Where's the the balance of uh, you know, like professionalism? I don't know what it's called, but know. you know, like if she's attractive, you're gonna hit on her. Why not? Like, go shoot your shot. Why, why not shoot your shot? Right? Why? Yeah. Why are you not gonna shoot your shot? That's the question. Yeah, and if you shoot, you know, okay. if you shoot your shot, and then you know, it comes, uh, you know, comes to the fact that she's not, you know, interested, then you yeah. just look like, you know, holy shit, I'm wasting my time. So. But as I, I feel, I feel like getting getting uh turned off, turn you know, turned down is better than not even trying, right? Right. Yeah, I guess you gotta pick your spot. Hundred yeah. percent. I I feel like I, I feel like you if you're interested in the girl, like she fits your criteria. Like I, I know you like you know like the the skinny one. Yeah, you're like a like the mousy for, voice. You know, like the yeah, you're like the, applying for a job kind of thing. You're like, <laughs> am I qualified for this? Can we not talk about jobs? What? Off air, we talked about that. We're not gonna talk about jobs or how you slid in this motherfucker. We're qualified. gonna get on. We're gonna get on that later. But you get up so, later in the, in the podcast. Later in the podcast. Um, and we got a new segment coming up for y'all. But um, so. Let's say, all right, let me give you an example. Let me give you a, a situation. 
You see a you see a chick, right? All right. Um, I'm trying to put it where. All right. You're going for an application for a job. Let's do that. All right. Um, and the girl, the girl interview interviewing you. I I gotta tell you a situation with this. Interviewing you is hot, and you were like, "Fuck her," right? You were like, "Yo, I'm digging this bitch. I don't even give a fuck about the job now." Would you yeah. say fuck the job? I'm about to hit on this bitch and try to get her number because she giving you crazy, job, giving you crazy vibes. She's giving you yeah. crazy yeah. vibes. Past interview, yeah, it has to it. be crazy vibes where she like yeah. lingering eye contact and everything. Yeah. Like, it has to be a, a fact so that when you do hit on her, mm-hmm. that it's not going to go to shit because you know if you date somebody at the job, it can go to shit. Yeah. If it's a different department, then I guess it would be, you know, pretty much okay. Mm-hmm. People are like mature about, you know, thing. That's not a conflict of interest, is it? Like compare, no. I mean, if you work together, and you're fucking. I mean, if everybody... it's a different department, you don't really see them all the time. True. Then it's like, you yeah. Know, if it's like a coworker that you have to see all the time, that's messed up. Would you, you know? would you would you like that seeing the person all the time that you're fucking? Not really. <laughs> Because then it creates a weird dynamic. I mean, I don't know. At the, it would create a weird dynamic at the job or just in general? In general, because, like, yeah. you know, you see them at the job and mm-hmm. you go back and they just, you know, it's just too so much. Just like 24 7, you see a person. Like, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I guess, yeah, it would, it would be a little bit too much <laughs> overwhelming. Like, yeah. You got to be able to miss the person and then, you know, re- rekindle that uh that uh spark or whatever the fuck, you know. Yeah. Um, But, like, the yeah, the, the bar scene in general, I don't know. I just, it's just. Everything's going. It's too much going on, man. Don't you feel like it's too much going on? It's too much conversation. It's kind of like speed dating, but like I don't know, just scattered and yeah, you know, it's just I don't know. It's it's hard to pull a bartender because they they're pretty. You got you know they got man. They got they got a man and they don't even want to be bothered. Kind of shit. You know, they give you that standoffish attitude all the time. Yeah. So, all right. For example, when you went to one with our friend, uh, the recent one you went to. What happened with that? Like uh, the bartender, was she like very like, oh hey, how you doing? Very friendly, or were they like, ah, eh, standoffish? Like, what do you want? Like, what do you want? Sometimes like, a mixture of both, you know. Yeah, like well, I mean, they just get away with some crazy ass shit because they just they have the power to do that, you know, because they're hot. So All right, or if they're not hot, then because they're a female, they still get away with it. <laughs> I talked to this about with a bitch, right? And I was like, you guys have it easier because you could just go out on the street, get any guy you want. With a bag, to be ugly, fat, whatever, you're gonna get a guy. You got a pussy. And then what did she say? She's like, I don't believe. I, I. She, she, she uh, debated me. She's like, No, I don't think that's true. All right, now you're just fighting the fact that it's true. Yeah, you're just now saying this because you know it's true. Now you're a defensive. So I was like, All right, don't believe me then. Uh, we go, we go run an experiment. I'm gonna do a video. Me and Henzo one day gonna do a video, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna get a girl to walk the street. See how many guys don't hit on her. With yeah. a fucking bag, paper bag. I mean, a, a garbage bag. She's going to be walking on her guns. That's, yeah. that's, that's going to be a video. And then we're going to see what happens with that. Yeah. And it's trust gonna, me, yeah. at least one or two is going to hit on that. Yeah. Me included. Shit. Carly Hensel. Yeah. You know, it's just, we just yeah, it's it. true. It's just it, so much. It just happens like that. I so mean, much, uh, um, pussy, pussy is the most valuable. Commodity. No. Well, for men, sexually, pussy is a value commodity. Yeah. Like, and how do you um, maintain the active pussy flow throughout months, years? How? You're married? No. You have to create an attachment. Create an attachment. But when you're married, you see these couples that, oh, we don't even have sex. We even have sex. I don't understand that. How do you not? One time a month. Yeah, it doesn't even make any sense how people don't do that. When you're married, why does it the, the sex decline? Because the kids are get it. There's kids yeah, if there's kids involved, I guess. Like you know. But you have, you could make time, like you know, just lock in the room and just fucking bang out. I don't know. It's crazy. I guess just don't have kids, and then the sex life will stay at a high level. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, <laughs> a lot of people that want. I don't know. I just don't feel. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't see. Because you have the freedom to leave. You know, you don't have. That's to, you the have thing. Kids, you have to stay because you're together because of the kids. You're not yes. together because you have feelings yeah. that are strong. Like before the kids, yeah. so. you're not you're not locked in. I guess what is yeah. it? if if the feelings start to fade, which they will fade naturally yeah. because the kids will degrade it because mm-hmm. you're worrying more about the kids than you are about you know pleasing your spouse or whatever. So mm-hmm. that's what creates that feeling. Like that's why I don't want to have sex anymore. It's like it's like a weird thing. Mm-hmm. It just becomes like a friend. Yeah, you're living with a friend to take care of kids. It just becomes weird. 
That's true. You know, so I guess that's what I've learned, and that's why I'm not going to do that because I know what yeah. how how it's going to go down. Yeah. Especially since I know why would I do something where I know yeah. what's going to go bad. So, question: Do you feel that you're a cheater? I feel like bitches have cheated me, so I could do whatever I want now. Because now I've been cheated on so many times, mm -hmm. and everybody you know usually has mm -hmm. that. You yeah. just have to be like, I'm not a cheater. The world is kind of cheating me. Okay, you know, you're playing at a at a insane level of difficulty. Just to make things happen and sustain things that are nice. Mm -hmm. And, um, no, I don't, I'm not a cheater. Do you, all right, let's say, all right, you like Sarah Michelle Geller. Let's say you meet a Sarah Michelle Geller look like. Yeah. Your ideal girl, mousy voice, you know, yeah. small, petite, fits the agenda, you know, keeps you happy, set it sexually, conversations flowing. You party together, you, you know, every day, like you want to hang out all the time, which is cool. You know, I get it. Would you be faithful to that one and keep that one, or would you still like get your side shit in? Um, if she's not stop sexing you and draining your cow, your cow's yeah. drained. Your, your shit's you're milking it everywhere. Your cow. So is she milking it or I no? She's she's draining your ball sack every fucking day with like, her mouth. Whatever she's se sexually sexually so pleasure you. That you you out, drain. Wouldn't have to go out. And that's what drink. I'm saying, bro. Where is the unicorn? That's the good point is that if you meet a girl that actually like checks off all these boxes and you're fully, saying, bro. fully sexually satisfied mm. in every way, shape, and form, yeah. then you're like, uh, you know, there's no reason for me to do anything else. Or thank you, right? That's. But it's very rare, and almost impossible, impossible for a guy impossible to do that to have one source of sex that completes his entire sexual yeah. fantasy thing. Yeah, it doesn't happen like that. So you got to go and find other people. To fit the check the so box, check the box, right? The boxes, these boxes that are no job, uh, uh, ass play, uh, uh, these boxes, you know, so, you know, fucking uh, uh moans, fucking uh, yeah. acts like she's into it, yeah, sometimes uh, she's not comes, into it. you know, it's like a check a box, like you can't find that, you can find yeah, one that moans, one that doesn't do blowjobs, like yeah, and it throws everything off, throws everything like, off, you know, and then she's gonna say, oh, like, do you still like love me and shit? Like you don't want to because you don't want to say those words because yeah. like. Oh man, you, know, you want to get into any of those that's a rough part of motion things, you know. That, that, that's a that's a rough one though, man. That's like So do you give terms of endearment in your situation? Yeah. Do you give terms of endearment when she comes close? I really do, man. I give a lot of terms of endearment. Uh you know, you look nice, little little thing. Or do you find that makes it feel like she thinks that it's more than what it is because you give her too much terms of endearment so she thinks that you're actually fully invested in terms of like not so, stepping out inside outside doing things shit i mean i feel like it's genuine in my my on my end like oh, all right you look nice if you look nice i'm gonna tell you you look nice you know like I, I, you know it's... but you say that you love her and shit no no that shit oh, no, that shit that shit takes his time and that 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 would take what i what i mentioned to you that that person yeah that check off all the boxes okay. or roughly 50 percent of the boxes yeah just grab a ball. yeah go ahead like it, it's just hard to like it's hard to find that man like yeah and I feel like the people that got married either found that or they settled like to the like fuck it let's settle we had kids already you're knocked up all right we're, we're stuck we're locked in like we're locked into this shit now like yeah. there's no way out we got kids and we fight we got to deal with it because we got kids I hate you I hate your guts I want to hope you die I hope you get hit by a bus but we have kids yeah I don't live like that bro that's the worst way to live yeah. Imagine having a kid that you fucking the bitch is all, all on your ass and shit. Like, yeah. Why are you bringing him now? When you come to see him, like, shut up, bitch. I wish I would kill you. And I'm like, it gets to that point. Like, yeah. But um, yeah. That's 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 uh. So don't have kids then. I I I don't kids. I don't. This kids is not. Pets are cool. Kids yeah. Are cool. I know, man. It's just kids are not for everybody. Are they for everybody? Like, creates too much stress. And if you worry about yourself a lot, then it's like you know, yeah. worry about yourself and if. If yeah, you're a kid, they have to worry about somebody else. It, it creates too much stress, man. It can, it creates too much, you know, and then and then you end up not lo loving the girl and just oh man, it's just Damn. it just it's just it's just a whole bunch of fucking bullshit on top of bullshit that you don't really need in this life. You're already dealing with, you know. But uh, it's just it's just some other worldly shit. But uh, we we do have a new segment here. Uh, me and Hanzo want to get into before we end, you know, towards the end of the podcast. Yeah. It's called Would You Rather. And uh, we'll definitely get a little meme going next time. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit, uh, Hanzo with some rapid, hard hitting questions. But would you rather? And uh, he got to answer these motherfuckers. All right. So uh, I'm trying to pick the worst ones. There's a lot of bad ones. All right. They're all sexual. So it goes. Uh, Let's go with these questions. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Uh, yeah, 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 all right, all right. Here we go. 
Okay. This is this is kind of like a question for you. Like, um, all right, let me, let me ask it. Would you rather be terrible in bed or a terrible kisser? <clears throat> Basically, um, would you want to be terrible fucking or terrible or terrible at making out? What do you enjoy more? See, that's the other side. What's up, so? <laughs> what would you think? Uh, wait, what's the question again? All right, let me let me go back to it. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I lost it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Wait, what the fuck? Would you rather? Hold on. Would you rather be terrible in bed or be terrible in bed or a terrible kisser? I guess terrible kisser then. Why? Because you get. You'll get less respect if you're terrible at fucking. You should be like, Dan, you can't. He's not pleasing me in the bedroom, but if you're terrible, because at least you like kind of like overlook that. But no, but kissing, I mean, depends on the attraction, right? Like, yeah. let's say you're in the car with a bitch and you're kissing. Doesn't that lead to more or if you're a good kisser? Because if you're a good kisser. No, then, but if she's attracted to you like sexually, like, it doesn't matter. It's going to happen at the kissing. end of the day when you get to the room. You still get it. You still have, you still, you know, you still have game. You're going to do what you're going to do. It doesn't change anything, but if you're like bad at fucking, she's not even looking forward to it because you're terrible at fucking or whatever the case may be. That makes sense. You know, so, so if you just do one stroke, okay, I'm done. You're terrible at fucking. This, this one's disgusting because it kind of incorporates the family. All right. Not in the bad way. Would you rather have your parents see your sex tape or watch your parents' sex tape? Uh, parents see the sex tape. Because that's, that's messed up. Ooh. Not at home. You know, but they've seen you when you're little, like growing up. They've seen they've taken care of you when you're so it's not like they haven't seen you Ooh. naked before. Let me ask you this one too. Would you rather have your parents see your sex tape? Or watch your parents' sex tape. That's an easy answer, I mean. It's oh, pretty weird. I would nothing. She's seen you your mom's seen you naked. She take care of you when you're a baby with her. she's seen you listen, naked listen, growing up. Listen. Why? Just hear me out. Hear me out. Sorry. Why? Why? I would rather see my parents. Why? That's weird. I damn. I'm going to see a psychologist, Rach. All right, I got a couple of psychologists here. <laughs> oh, fuck up. So no, no. So what's your reason name? being, reason being, reason, reason being. Let me give a reason. Can I, can, I, can I get a reason on that? I'll make you a psychologist. All right, I, I'll oh, make no. the call. Okay, but listen. Local. It's just the reason being, my dad's an angry dude, right? All right, what's up, camera? What's up, Hanzo camera? Uh, Hanzo, come on. Sick camera. All right, listen. I'm going to give my explanations. Them watching my sex tape is kind of disgusting for them. Well, yeah. Me, I'm watching them, and they don't have to deal and with that's it. That's not more disgusting for your mind to see and never erase from your mind? Like, I mean, that's how they made you. They made us. We had a fuck. Right? Yeah, but why would you... I wouldn't enjoy watching it. I had to pick. It's two choices, right? So, true. So, all right. So, yeah, I still need a... Actually... I still need a psychologist, so I didn't... Yeah. But but I kind of see you that. would rather them watch your shit. Actually, no, like the way that you. No, you would like rather them down. watch your shit. Like they have to be like Michael. Oh, like. I just wave to the camera. I'm like, hey. Oh, it's disgusting. I know you got you. We had a pick. We had a pick. You just go like this. We had a pick. Anyway, next question. All right, all right. Hold on. I got. I got a. Next time I'm gonna have these ready. These are some hard hitting ones, right? Okay. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. This one I don't know where you're gonna go with. Would you rather never come again, come, bust, or never be able to have your favorite meal again? Never be able to have your favorite meal again. Because what feels better in the long term? Obviously, the first. The, you would never come again, though. No, I said I'd, I'd rather not have a favorite meal. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Well, I don't you understand. Mess with your sex drive. <laughs> You you were in the ha not have your favorite meal. You eat all this bullshit that you don't like. It's just one meal. You could sacrifice that for the full lifetime of enjoying. I'm coming. That you know that which you you know. Seven natural. Yeah, I, 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 I'm fat ass. I, I would. Yeah, I, I would. I'm opposite of you. I would give up coming. You would give up coming for. A Wait a minute. Let me really think about this. Coming is such a good experience, right? Uh -huh. But think about it. When you know, some people are like you know like celibate. They don't even. We don't care about sex. Yeah, so, so I guess it matters. Like you're like a priest or something. Doesn't even matter. Yeah, I mean, if you're a priest, you're going for little kids. Damn. Said it. I 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 said
So yeah, we, we both are split to say. I'm not, all right. I'm not going to religion class. Yeah, bro. That's it's. Uh, okay. God damn. These are all sexual. Fuck. All right. Oh shit. All right. Last question before we end the podcast. Craziest one. Would you rather only have oral? Or only have anal for the rest of your life. All right, you answer that first. Well, I gotta answer things first. I I'll answer it. Thank you. Fuck. So you have to explain too. So you're only getting head or getting ass play. Oh, that butthole tight though. I mean, I'm a bitch. It's like the butthole tight. Head though. Try to just pause for a minute. Yeah, you gotta pause that. I'm sorry. Um, damn! I gotta go first, man. It's a hard one. Uh, so explain. We talk about for life, right? Yeah. Really think about it. Uh, head or head or head or ass. Oh man, I, I I would have to give up the oral. I think the ass, bro. The ass. Explain. Oral could be bad or good. Anal with a bitch, it's always gonna be tight. Even if you loosen it up, it's gonna be tight on your cock and wrap around your cock. You know, you fuck bitches in the ass. Yeah, of course, everybody has. So it's like, it just, it's, it's really good. And anals. And you know, so. All right, so I would give up oral and anal would be for the rest of my life. The yeah. primary thing? Primary thing. Fuck it. Yeah. Well, who wouldn't want to? Oral, anal? Compared to regular pussy? Yeah. All right, how about you? It's crazy. You really think about this one. For life. It's a hard one, man. Know, because you gotta really think about that one, right? You gotta really, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta relive the experiences, right? Like, is, is it that, good that she goes down? You is it good or is it bad? That, that it's, it's really up to you. Right. It's is really it like ten or is it like a five? Let's say ten oral, like ten, 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 ten oral. All right, ten oral and ten ass. You gotta choose. Damn, you gotta, you gotta really think about this one, right? Both good. Well, which one are you giving up? You can't have both. Yeah. Only Jaden Smith, Will Smith's son, can have both. He's rich. I want both. Like, damn. So he got he hard hitting questions we're doing. See? Look I guess, up. um. Really got to think. Yeah, I'll just go for the head then. The head? Yeah. Or the it. ass? Wait, you, you choose the head over the ass. Yeah. To have head all. No, no, you're not going to do ass. Play. If it's 10, then it's 10. Swallow in and. Yeah. I've had 10 before. I know what 10 is like. Shit. That, that's, that's intense shit, though. So. Well, at least we had, yo, we went through the, would questions? You, would you, uh, all right, we'll do one more. Interrogation time. One more, we'll do one more? One more? Yes. All right, one more. I feel, I feel like this will be a. Uh, Get to the swing of the question. Yeah, you got to swing of it, all right. Oh, that's corny. Wow, they, those, I think we hit the, oh, okay, no. Uh, I'm going to be ready next time. This shit, so many. All right. All right, this will be the last one. All right, this is uh, weird. Okay, would you rather be someone's sex slave for a month or wear a chastity belt for a month? Meaning for a month. Chastity belt, you can't have sex. All right, you ask first. Sex slave, chastity belt for a month. Chastity belt for a month. Easy. I'm doing that month easy. Yeah, oh, month without sex. Month is easy without sex. Come on. Yeah. I'm not being nobody's sex slave. I mean, they could do what... You know what the sex slave entails? They could do what they want. Let's say she she says, I'm bringing a dude in here. You got to do... You got to get fucked in the ass. I'm not doing that. That's not happening. I picked the belt. Yeah, I picked the belt. So, okay. This should be our new segment here. This should be our new, like, like thing. This is, this is, this is dope. One more? Yeah. That's it for the role? Yeah. One more. That's it. Sorry. Red pill, red pill, red pill podcast. Would you rather? Hold on. Where the fuck are these questions at? All right. But they got to be sexual. I got to switch it up. They got to be maybe like uh, uh, life or, or, but damn, they got like hundreds. Okay. I mean, I could like pick one, right? Or no? Yeah, here. Pick okay. one. Hey, everybody. Check out the podcast. Always uh, subscribe, comment, like always. You know how it is. Ray Chenzo. Red Pill Podcast. Would you rather a different little, a little spiel on things? Give it a little flavor. This has to be the last one. We we going over the podcast minutes. You know we get, we have to pay for this shit. You know what I mean?
Would you rather not be able to use your hands during sex or not be able to see during sex? Fuck. I go first? Yeah. Which one do you lose? The hands or the vision during sex? Holy shit. Can you use your hands during sex? Or you can't see, so you're blind. Wow. You gotta see what you're doing. Wow, wow, wow. You gotta see what you're doing. Wow. Wow. Okay, wow. I mean, wow. you don't want to be blind. Wow. But you still need your hands, but you can go without your hands. I would pick I would pick um not being able to use your hands. Because I need my vision. Okay, you go ahead. Is that your final is that your final answer? Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's what I pick. Yeah. I'd rather go with So no your explanation is what? That you would rather I need be able to see, see? to see what I'm doing rather than having to use my hands during the act. Because it's like would it get you off? Seeing it more. Well, I have to see what I'm doing. Not feeling? Because you can't see the person. That just goes beyond the sex, but you can't see the person. All you're blind. All right, but check this out. Let's say, all right, so you oh, so you say you don't want to see. You want to see. I'd rather not be able to use my hands and not be able to see. So you have no senses. You can't. So I can't use my hands, but I can still, everything's fine. So you just go handsless. That's that's fine. So she's all up on you, and you're just seeing her go up and you kissing you and all that. Let's say yeah. that. Hmm. Sucking your cock. Or, I mean, you'd rather be blind and use your hands? Blind? Because think, think about it. If you're blind, you still get the sensation of feeling, but you could imagine what she might look like. You really want to lose your vision. Wow. That's crazy. During sex, though. So, wait, what's the question? During Just during it sex? It says, would you rather not be able to see, uh, use your hands during sex? Yeah, so it's just during, during just sex. During sex. It's just sex. So every time you're having sex, you can't see. And let's say, oh, she, you, want to be you about to fuck, what's her name? Yeah. And, oh, I can't see. Whoa. Man. You can feel it. Um, all right. You yeah. can imagine. All right. My my response is I would rather be able to to um to feel. Yeah. Because it's just during sex. I I can't see her. I just get blind. I can imagine other women. But aren't you gonna miss seeing what you're doing? I, I'm more I'm a more touchy feely. So I like you know I'll be like on table like you're more visual. Are right? you more visual? Yeah. So I guess you're yeah. more visual. Yeah. So I guess you're more visual. More touchy feely. All right, next question. Last question. All right, all right, last Would you rather shit your pants every time you get turned on or throw up? You want to shit your pants or throw up every time you get turned on? You get an erection, you got to throw up or shit your pants. Which one is it? Damn. Shit your pants. Got to clean that up. Or throw up. Which you might be able to throw up in a toilet. They didn't specify, so. I think ah. I'll, go with the, I'll go with the throwing up. With what? The throwing up or shitting your pants every time you get turned on. Let me... That's gonna ruin your sex life forever. All right, all right. If you throw up, let's say you're turned on and you're talking to the bitch, right? You turn it you on. Throw up in her face. Yeah, you can't throw up in the face, but you can shit and maybe get away with. A little you're gonna bit sit of there and like just just cover the with the stank. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna shit my pants. I'm gonna shit my pants. How about you? Damn, I go with the throwing up, but. Oh, all right. Would you, you rather use mayonnaise? Uh, what, sorry, would you rather right. use mayonnaise as lube or ketchup as lube? Damn. Mayonnaise or ketchup as lube? Mayonnaise or ketchup? I like ranch, so I'll use the mayonnaise. Damn, we just run through these questions. Let's not do these Red questions. Red pill universe. Yeah, let's go. Let's fuck it. Let's just do it. Right. We're going to keep going. We said we stop, but we're going to keep going. We do what we want up in here. We're pushing damn 30 minutes. All right. We'll, we'll stop at 30. All right. But I mean, we can make another segment. We're going to make another segment for what would you rather? These are some in-depth questions that I just wasn't prepared for. Would you rather sneeze every time you orgasm or, or orgasm every time you sneeze? Damn. Spun that one around. Ah. Wait, you talking about... Yep. So I'm coming. Yep, or would you rather just... I mean, every time you sneeze, you have an orgasm. So if you sneeze, then you have an orgasm. So whatever makes me sneeze, I'm orgasming. Or, and what's the other one? Orgasm. It's the opposite. Would you rather sneeze every time you orgasm or orgasm every time you sneeze? What the fuck? Yeah, this is a, this is a twister. Whoa! Right Damn, this is a twister. We really don't get that one. I'm maybe a little yeah. tipsy. What? So, orgasm when you sneeze or sneeze when you orgasm? It's kind of like the same thing though, right? It's the same shit, no? Can we skip that one? Yeah. It's the same. I was like, what the fuck? It's like, um... All right, last one, because it's really... Yeah, let's do this. Would you rather only ever be able to have sex in the morning or at night? Ooh. Forever. Ooh. Morning or night? Or are you a morning or night person? Sex forever until you die. I love morning sex. Morning Ooh. sex is a shit. But night sex is good too. So what if you're getting drunk at night? You can't have any sex. You have to wait till the morning. 
Damn, and you're hungover in the morning, you just like, oh shit. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. That's hard. Pause. Oh, no, that's hard. No, no. Would you rather? Would you rather? It's okay. Would you I'm rather? Oh, fuck. Hard shit. Um. You want to answer this one first? Uh, yeah, I guess. You got a, a full, legit answer and explanation why? So, like, the night, I'll go for the night. Why? Because if I'm drinking, I'm going to get all horny and stuff. Be like, hey. So, what happens in the morning? You can't fuck in the morning. So, I'll be like, I'm hungover already from last night. Damn it. I'm going to work in the morning, too. You can give them the morning. And so, you know, it's pretty you know, it's pretty much only the weekends that you would need the morning. Bad and second. Sunday morning, like, hey, skip church. You said fuck the morning sex? Yeah, to have the night. Come on, guys. It's a no-brainer. You know what? Come on, guys. I'm going to skip Bayless or shit, okay? I'm going to go against the grain. I'll go against the gray. So you said, so you said what? So you said, um, you would rather, uh, have sex during what is it during the what? What if? Okay. All right, Hezo. We can fucking Hezo camp. Put shit away. All right. All right. All right. Okay. I'll answer your question. So you chose what? <laughs> Say it again. Would you rather? Sex during the day or sex during the night? Which one y'all give up? Oh man, oh, man. um, you're right. Oh I, shit, I think you're right. I think the night sex, the night sex. is more fun, right? Because yeah. you're 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 lit. You know, you're lit and fucking. You yeah, you're, you're you can tell. Yeah, you lit. You're lit already, right? So yeah. the night sex would be better, but morning yeah. sex is good too because it gets your day going. Like the the, the, yeah. the um the morphines or whatever in your body already like. Uh yeah, I, I guess I would give up morning. Yeah, yeah. night so. And that concludes our segment. That concludes our segment. Would you rather? Uh, would you rather? Join us next time for more, for more spicy questions and engaging conversations. Conversations on Red Pill Podcast. Hanzo? Signing out. Signing out. Rage, comment, like, subscribe. And make America great again, guys. Make America great again. Vote and be sure to vote. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll check you later. Peace. All right. Peace. Peace.